Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Thursday. I didn't think what day it was. Thursday. Got to get some hand lotion here. My hands are just really fried. After this past week and all this lovely cold weather. Oh yeah, it's been great. Oh, well, today we are going to be working on The Autumn House by Maydeer. And it is 11 count, so I will be using three strands. And it says it is 86 by 61. And today, almost there, we're going to be working in this corner and we're going to be working on the pumpkins. So what's everybody up to? Are, are are you cold? Are you snowy? Or you didn't get any snow? You know, I like to know these things because I want to know if somebody else is having as bad a week as I am. Well, it's been cold here like all week. And every day for at least a week. Hang on. Got to have the old standby coffee. Um, yeah. And they said, oh, yes, it's going to snow one to four inches, seven to nine inches up in the mountains, you know. Now, mind you, I'm in the mountains, but I um, I live at 8,000 feet, so we kind of sit in a trough. But the mountains are 14,000 feet, so that's 6,000 feet higher than we are. So they get way more snow than, than I, where I live. And most times it just blows away. So they said, you know, that uh, it was going to snow every day this week. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So I'm listening to the weather while I'm working. One to four inches, same blah, blah, blah story, you know. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, yeah, about, oh... 7 o'clock, it started snowing like a banshee. And, yeah, it was horrible. It dropped like 4 inches between 7 and... So, God, the time I left? Yeah, it was great. I brushed my car up twice. It was a mess. A total mess. So, yeah, I got home, and I didn't have coffee like I usually do when I got home. I made some hot spice chai. Yeah, I needed something else. Holy cow, I was freezing all night. It was bad. Just totally bad. But driving home wasn't all that bad. I just kept the windshield wipers going and I just kind of got to leave where I go and make almost a square to get where I got go so it, it wasn't too far that I had had to drive or anything like that so I was thrilled sick that I didn't have to go any further and today I'm off I may not go anywhere oh yeah so while I'm at work I almost slipped. We have like a little sidewalk that goes down to the restrooms. Like in your typical gas station. And I almost slipped there. Okay, I can live past that. We're good. I get all the way home, get ready to get through the gate, and I about slipped again. But this time I threw my hip out. Oh yeah, it was great. So... Yeah, I came home, put an ice pack on that, had some chai, and worked on my, uh, my we'll call it a Bristol sampler, because I can't remember that great big long name. It's horrible. Oh, and not, yes, was it yesterday that I went? Maybe it was the day before. Guess what I got? Whoever suggested this, I love you. I just love you. Yeah, because it's working really well. Everything's not slip-sliding around, and I can just fold it up. And, of course, 
I got the big, big roll. Yeah. So, I have plenty of it. But we'll try to keep it right where I can see it. But it works really great. Um, I gotta move my glasses, though. Um, it works great, and it doesn't... This doesn't slip around, because this countertop for this desk is really slick. It's like... We'll call it Formica, for lack of what it is. I got this table at uh, the thrift store. I thought my daughter was going to kill me. This thing weighs a ton. And it's not solid wood. You know, like I said, <coughs> there's some kind of Formica stuff that goes over the top of the wood or whatever it's made of. But it's a drafting table, and the whole thing will sit at an angle if you want it to or it'll lay flat so I made it flat because at the time I was when I got this I was working on huge diamond paintings and upray would not have worked well you know it might have but the drills have been everywhere so that was not happening so this is working great because it doesn't it takes a little effort to move it now, so it's nice. I like it. Oops. And I missed two stitches over here. So, yeah, that all I worked on last night was the Bristol Sampler. And I had to frog a, a letter out. So, frogging has begun. But, I mean, it, it normally, I don't know, I must have not been paying attention. Uh, when I was working on it before I tried to work on it see this is what happens I work on it before I go to work and I've got so much crap on my mind that I screw up so yeah sometimes if there's a long enough distance between when I got to go to work you know and when I stitch so I'm not rushed is what I guess I'm meeting so, I guess I was a little rushed yesterday trying to get everything done. So, fun times. Fun times. Fixed chili dogs last night for dinner. I haven't had those in a while. I got this store brand of chili with no beans. Because a long time ago when I lived in Illinois, they had Coney Island sauce. And it was like chili without beans or they had taken the whole thing and just like ground it so that it was really a uh, fine and thick and you put it on hot dogs that was our idea of chili dogs exciting stuff I'm telling you so yeah that's what I felt hungry for so I don't know what I'm gonna fix today I may fix a fatata because I got another thing of onions. And I'm not, not onions. Eggs. Jeez Louise. I can't even follow my own conversation. Some days. Some days. So, oh, and I talked to my daughter. She said my granddaughter is kind of driving her nuts. She wants to stitch all the time now. So we went into full panic mode. So Grandma's going to buy her her first pre-stamp cross stitch for her birthday. Oh, my daughter. Oh, get this. You're going to love this. Now, she's, mind you, she's six, right? So I told you she was into Dolly Parton. And Dolly Parton wears real Julie type stuff. You know, like, uh, not Julie, but. It has jewels on her pants and stuff, and she thought that was really great. So my granddaughter said that was the only way that she was going to wear jeans was if they had jewels on them. So I guess my daughter got her a pair of pants that had jewels on the back pockets. And she said, my granddaughter came running out the other day with her pants on backwards, wanted her to zip her up. She had the pocket, the jewel pockets in the front. Oh my God. The jewel pockets in the front. She wanted her to zip it up. 
she couldn't see the jewels if they were back there on her butt. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Really? So my daughter is in search of a bedazzler. <laughs> so she can put jewels on her jeans. She found one. She's just got to get it ordered. Hopefully we can get it ordered before the birthday happens. Get rid of that piece of thread. Oh, yeah. Life with a six-year-old is great. I'm telling you, they come up with more crap. Oh, Lord. So we're going to have to learn how to use the damn bedazzle. Bedazzler. I never, well, my daughter wasn't like this at all when she was growing up when bedazzlers were, like, really fancy. She was more the tomboy type, and she didn't want no jewels, nothing like that. Nothing fancy. I could barely get her into a dress. It was special. Special times, that child. Sorry. My, I noticed my little ort thing was scooching off the edge. Don't leave. We've got plenty to do here. So, yeah. So that's what's been happening in my world. But yeah, I found a little project on uh, Amazon. And it's got like, I think you make these into like keychains. So that each project isn't very big and it only has one or two colors. So we'll see how that proceeds. We will see. But I thought that might be a good thing and I believe it's 11 count I, I didn't even look or it didn't say I'm sure it's not very small but yeah thank god I sent her with a skein of yarn that ought to hold her off until the end of March when my granddaughter's birthday is but you know grandma might have to spoil her before that and get it early and that's what I'm notorious for my daughter just rolls her eyes or spoiling them. I said, yeah, that's my job. I wanted to go out to lunch a couple weeks ago. They don't need to go out every week. I'm like, okie dokie. Hit a nerve there. I know, it's something you really can't keep up with in these day and times. She's working, I'm working, and the only free time we got to go to lunch is maybe on a weekend. Sometimes, I don't know. Never can tell. But hey, that's my job. I get to spoil my grandkids. I like that. Works for me. What's your problem? No, I'm just kidding. But no, sometimes I have to bend to her ways, you know, because, hey, she's in charge of those kids, not me. I raise mine, thanks. But it's fun to just throw a monkey wrench into the, the stew every once in a while. Keeps them all on their toes. Because they never know what Grandma's going to do. Not at all. So. Fun times. Oh, goodness gracious. But I just sat there and stitched and watched Grey's Anatomy. Well, I didn't watch it. I was stitching. But, uh, yeah. Not much going on here. And I think I might do that today. I was thinking I could make some uh, beef tortilla soup today, but I don't know. I've been kind of thinking I wanted some uh, wild rice chicken soup, but I don't have any chicken. And that would require going out, and I'm not real fond of that idea. I usually get that uh, Uncle Ben's 90-second wild rice, and I cook the chicken beforehand, and... Uh, then throw in a couple because they're small bags little bags of uh, the wild rice it's enough for one person maybe twice 
didn't use very much but I throw the, all that together with some green onion and it's really good and I had some what do you call it frozen and I think I've gone through it all and it's about time to make green chili again because I think I'm down to two or three things of, of green chili Coming along, guys. Whoops. Coming along. I sat there last night with an ice pack on my hip. I'm telling you, I love when I do this crap. God, what is wrong with me? I don't know. I just get in a hurry. That's what everybody used to say. You just get in too much of a hurry. And then th stuff happens. Yeah, that's about right. Stuff happens. I'm trying to keep that where it's light. I don't want to get it too terribly light. <coughs> yeah, but I've always been a klutz, so some things never change. Oh, for pity's sake, I either get it too close... We're not close enough. Whoops. Now we got wash out. There we go. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, it's going to be a stitch day. Just see how far I can get on that sampler because it's going to need a, a fair head start. I haven't started the third line of stitching yet but we're we're gaining on it and it's kind of like the perfect thing to to work on because every time you finish a letter it's like a finish so it keeps you going and I just love the way it's charted it, it's really beautiful who knew who knew I might work some more on this today. No grand plans here, I'm telling you. Just normal stuff, you know, washing dishes. So we, we won't be doing much uh, sweeping and, and mopping today. I'm going to save that for the weekend when my hip feels better. But I'm not so much into that, but dishes got to get done. Isn't that exciting? Something to look forward to. It's so glamorous being a housewife, ain't it? Well, I'm not even a housewife. I'm a house person at this point. Since I don't take care of anybody anymore. Unless I get pulled in to work on or help the grandkids. I don't believe my da daughter's going anywhere. I don't know if that was supposed to be stitched that color, but guess what? It It is. <sighs> Thank goodness, one more day this weekend. Then I get three off again. Yay! Works for me. But I don't think I'll go to the, the thrift store today. I don't see any reason to. Sometimes I have stuff and sometimes I don't. This whole pandemic thing has kind of messed them up. And then they've got more donations than they know what to do with. And Isn't that pretty? I got... Three more colors that I got to put into there. But I'm just working along here at, at the blue. Just, it looks like robin egg blue. Cerulean blue. No, I guess that's cerulean blue. So, robin egg blue. Jeez. Oh, goodness gracious.
And I didn't start the uh, the violet pattern yet. I think I got a piece of fabric for that, and it's nope. I got 16 count. I think I got country country French cafe mocha for it. I just got a, a smaller type piece. It's my favorite Winchlet fabric. I love it. Because it goes on lots of things. And it would probably lend itself to, uh, if you wanted to dye it darker. You know. I don't know. Short of that, nothing else I've seen. I don't know. I haven't seen anything else that tripped my trigger lately. I think, I don't know, everybody's kind of, I, is like laying low and waiting for that expo thing to see what the new patterns are. I don't know. That's kind of the way I am. I'm not getting too excited. And you know it'll take a little bit for one, two, three stitch to get their stuff in. After... Well, after market, it took like almost two, three months. So, it'll be a hot moment. Unless you go to those people, the people who were like, like Bendy Stitchy. Um, if you go to their website, things are a lot different. So, I don't know. I've been looking lately at that... Uh, well, I call it a yearly sow uh, for uh, modern folk embroidery. I think it's just beautiful the way it's stitched. But, I don't know, it's got a lot of dense points. Kind of like uh, death by cross stitch. Yeah. It doesn't make you want to do it real quick. I do and I don't. I mean, like, there's certain parts of it I like better than others. I don't know. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the uh, linen and thread, Sal. Yeah, that's still out there. I don't know. Just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. I'm done. So, I just try not to think of it again. But it's still out there. Come on. We'd just find the hole, we'd have it made. So, I don't know. There's options. But I'm not too terribly ecstatic to start it. So, maybe there's stuff out there that hasn't been released yet, or I haven't seen. But I stick with about, well, we'll say under 10 different designers that I actually like, like Modern Folk Embroidery, Hands Across the Sea, and um, Blackbird. Kind of watch and wait to see if, what they come up with. Now, I also like Lila's Studio, and every once in a while, Tiny Modernist, but I wouldn't say positively. I do like some uh, Plum Streets, so... We'll see how it goes. We'll see. We almost got this one little section done. So, yeah, lots of things running around in my brain. Another one I really liked from, I think it was from last year's, ouch, um, what do you call it? Not Expo. The Nashville Market was that Huckleberry Farm, is that what it's called? The one with the bear and the berries that are in the border. I don't know. I kind of like that. I've had it in and out of my, what you call it? Out of my, uh. 
cart several times. So it's it's out there too. I don't think it's too extremely big. I don't think it's like consider the lilies. I don't know. Just depends. And I don't even know right off the top of my head who did that that pattern. Of course there's always hands across the sea. You know, I can always find something that I like on there, but their problem with me is some of them are there's a lot of uh, thread colors you know because they do such great shading that that wouldn't be a problem but I just can't figure out which one I like I saw the uh, is it Uffendale's one of them I like one of them I don't like and it's like okay but you know they're 30 plus colors I suppose if that was the only thing I was going to get from 123 Stitch you know it might be okay and I'm just kind of letting everything lie low while they get things restocked because they're out of my favorite fabric and in, so is uh, they're out of the witchlet they're out of the um, picture this plus stuff that I want so I don't know if they're having issues getting them, you know, to come in or not. I don't know if I can make one more stitch. I can't. Oh, goodness gracious. I'll just catch it when I could do that part. I would... Oh, of course. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. I'm anxious to see what everybody does for market or expo or whatever you know I don't know if we're gonna get to see that the things that come out or, or how that that goes I don't know Bindi Stitchy was talking about it um, what is her name I've forgotten her name Michelle yeah um, but I didn't I had to go to work or something happened and I had to go somewhere so I never got back to it but she was talking about all the different designers and stuff that were on there so I don't know I guess we'll just have to wait and see hey we're almost finished that pumpkin good job good job good job we're making progress folks I like working on this I just love the colors you cannot get bored in this at all it's not <coughs> not that I get bored with um, single What do you call it? Like single color things, you know, like the red work. Not red work. Wrong wrong word. Red. You know, solid red or a solid color that you're stitching with. I don't know. I don't know. I'd kind of like to go back to uh, the Circus of the Hearts and restart it. But it's like oh my gosh yeah I don't know because I've seen those those done so yeah it only drives me on uh -huh. not a clue Molly's over there snoring I don't think you can hear that um so yeah and then there's always the pre-stamp like these I want to get a what do you call it? A lighthouse one? Because I think they're really beautiful. They're, I can't can't not get one of those. And then there's a couple of uh, what do you call it? Like street scenes, if you will, that I've seen in pre-stamped. One of them is at night with the lights coming out of the windows. I wish you could hear that. I really do. <laughs> she usually doesn't snore. She must be tired. Um, it has street lights and and the lights in the building, and it's like a corner. And then the the road kind of goes this way. I don't know who designed it by any means, but it's a pre-stamped 
And I don't know if it was Joy Sunday or if it was... Uh, what do you call it? Joy Sunday? Because I've looked at Joy Sunday and Dimensions and May Deer. And they have a lot at, uh, what do you call it? Everyday E-Deals. I just don't want to have to wait for it to come to Ch from China. I don't, I don't know why it takes so damn long. It just drives me insane. Of course, they just went through Chinese New Year. Or they're going through Chinese New Year, so that slows everything down. I don't blame them. I mean, it it is what it is, and it gets here when it gets here. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.